Good morning, everybody, again. This is Matador from FreeTradingVideos.com. It's May 27th, 2009. Working our way through another week. It's amazing how quickly they go these days. Looks like we have pre-market uh, after a little run-up here, a sell-off. Uh, but if you take it in context, it's all sort of just basing sideways ahead of some numbers. So the economic calendar for the day uh, at least from Yahoo Finance, is that we have existing home sales. That's going to come out at 10 o'clock. Crude inventory is at 10.30. So everybody's eyes are on this number right here. And we'll do the same thing. Watch how the market, of course, digests that. And what I mean by that is see how the market reacts, see how the market internals react, see if everything remains intact or if it starts failing. And if it does, of course, uh, how well does it hold up? How quickly does it fade? That kind of thing. So lots of important uh, events surrounding those numbers. So again, that's a beautiful run-up yesterday. Uh, a lot of great opportunities in the market yesterday. Perfect resistance area that it ran up into, so not surprising. The only surprising thing uh, yesterday was watching it blast through <laughs> a perfect gap fill and just take off higher. Uh, Fine-tuning these charts very, very good breakouts and uh, things all day long. A lot of great opportunities, like I said. So um, let me go back here and just show you a couple of those key areas. So we have this resistance area at 91, became support, tested at one time, but then uh, popped back up. 91.50, of course, where we are right now, uh, kind of have faded off of that, like I said, after bumping up past it. So again, 91.50 makes a lot of sense from this chart. A lot of uh, happy customers over here off of an, a, a sort of a symmetrical triangle. Biggest red bar on the chart That's where people get hurt. That's why they want their money back. Another great area of resistance at 92, which we've already talked about. Then, of course, 92.50 and then 93. So stair-stepping our way back up to all these numbers, making sense again. I really like it when the technicals line up like that. Anyway, that's what I'm looking for this morning. We'll see what we get. Look for those relative strength and weakness stocks as always and see if you can find a good setup intraday to play or if you're trading longer term just watch how the market digests those numbers again and uh, you can make better decisions on your after hours trading so have a great day everybody look forward to talking to you around noon and um, talk to you soon